Hello everyone, it's a fish trip. I'm playing the next big thing. This is rabbits recommendation for a rabbit's pick. I didn't know what to play. Ooh, you can pick your, you can pick your display. That's neat. I don't know who these characters are. Are they characters are we gonna meet in this? In this one, you want me to pick this? The 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 goth witch lady. She reminds me of the Wednesday's mom. Does she not remind you of Wednesday's mom? Yeah, Matisha Adams. Morticia isn't here. This is her. Don't recognize this one, but everyone else. Wait, even the insect is in the game? Really? There is an insect character? That That's, that's something new. Uh, I mean, the one that looks closest to me in real life probably be this girl. Except I have black hair. My face isn't that long. But I do wear glasses. This is the only person wearing glasses. This girl looks neat. So oh, badass. But you know what? For Morticia, even though she's not here, I'll I'll pick I'll pick Morticia Adams. I'll pick Morticia Adams. I'm not gonna. Cats. I'm gonna name myself. Enter her password. But you one crazy ass bitch. Why, hello, Morticia. I picked this character just for you. Yep, and summoned, yes. Just for you, I picked Morticia Adams. See, it's you. So why do we need a password? Is that a thing? Is this a, is this a normal thing for, for this game? I, I'm confused. Okay. It's Morticia, right? I don't really need a password. I don't think I'm going to have a password. This is my own computer. No one uses it but me, so I'll just enter. What's this? Keys and... Is it hints and uh, help? Is that it? Oh, difficulty low. Difficulty medium. So hotspots on, help off. Then high is like everything's off. You know what? I'm dumb. Oops. I didn't see a password. Well, I I I already skipped that. So no password. Sorry. But yeah, difficulty. I'm I'm a noob. Okay, I, I'm so dumb. I I need the help. I need the hotspots. I need the help. Or you have hotspot but help off. Why why can't you have help on and hotspots off? Huh? Why can you switch that up? I need the help. I may not need the hotspots. But low it is. Okay. I'm gonna make it easier for myself. Okay, that's it. The music's now playing. Okay, that's good. Ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> before we Begin, you should know that the story you're about to hear has quite a number of, um, um, well, don't say I didn't warn you. You warned me about what? Tell me what, what, what's wrong. That's a very big eye fish. 
Sorry, I need to. I need a, a loud at, and I clicked that obviously. Yeah, I'm watching it. Wait, what the fuck is that? Why is the do doctor person an insect that can fly? And who the fuck is this? What, what, what are we doing? Did, did I have to play another game before this one to know what's going on? Uh, the, the pizza has arrived. Oh, fuck. Your pizza guy. Don't act like a serial killer, like... Seriously. Well, they eat pizza, I can eat my rice. He's alive! Frankenstein's alive! Oh, wait a minute. The story doesn't start that way. Ah, yes. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Ayo, let's begin at the beginning. Oh, there's a flash forward. Okay. Now, now that makes more sense. Okay. Okay, I like this game so far. I like the premise. Very bizarre, but I like it. This is my first time playing a Pendulous Studios game, actually. Ooh. Welcome that was loud. To the annual horror film award ceremony, in which the most outstanding monsters of the silver screen compete for the golden death chickens. Please go in. Belt buckle says Big is lying. <laughs> I am not gonna what comment. Did you say? I haven't seen it, so I don't know. Good for you. I'm not deaf. Right, just dumb. You jerk. Lunatic. Dan Murray. The boss has assigned this story to the two of us. If you don't come into the theater with me and do your part... So, you don't think you can do it alone? I think I'm more than capable. You don't say. Dan Murray, I'm going to go into that theater and write a Pulitzer Prize story by myself. You hear me? You're gonna leave me out here in the cold in the dead of autumn? I hope you freeze. Hmm. How can I keep myself warm? Hey, yo, Dan. It was fabulous. I did so many interviews that we're gonna have to ask the boss for more space. Fitz Randolph, Professor Fly, Chrome Ha, Eva Morte, the poet, the Grim Reaper. Oh, Professor and Fly. Short guy from Monster Without a Cause. Fascinating. Yeah, you know, the one from. Uh, hey, what's that? It's Antifreeze. Dan Murray, have you been out here drinking while I was in there doing your <sighs> job? That's it. The byline is gonna be mine and mine alone. They can fire you for all I care. Yeah, the animation more, style is really good. For a shovel to help dig your grave, I'll be more than happy to help. And if. Hey, what's he up to? Hmm. Big Albert. In Big Fitz Albert? Office. That's odd. <gasps> you were saying? We have Damn. My thoughts exactly. Finally, real investigative journalism. Come on, move it. Sweetheart, Are you doing a thing? My thing is sports writing. If he hits you with a baseball bat, call me. Are you playing as a girl or... And that's how it all started for Liz Allaire. She Liz decided Allaire, okay. she was going into that office with or without Dan's help. Oh, so we're playing as Liz? Is, is that it? Okay. Look at the hood. What's got my head caught under the hood of my father's car? Anne Marie, my smart sister, was being Tarzan. Queenie, my pretty sister, was Jane. I was Cheetah, and the car was the crocodile. I have no idea about any of those references. Sorry. Look at Dan. Jerk. He's a jerk. Yes, he is. Okay, so that's the mansion. Okay, we can only go to the mansion. Well, that's easy. Let's go to the mansion. Oh, wow. Now that. Is some creepy mansion. I like the art. I do really like the art. Is there a doctor? Toby the third, Fitz Randolph's pet, is inside. It's inside, okay. That's good. It's enormous, but it was completely full for the ceremony. That's where you and Andy live? Well, damn, I envy you because that is a big house. 
That is a big house. What the fuck is this? He has a saw for a hand. How uncomfortable. He has a saw for a hand. I'm afraid he'll cut me into pieces. You can live with that? Oh, yeah. Okay, sure. If you buy, if you get me, you know, a flight, okay? Pay for my plane tickets and moving my PC and stuff, I'll, I will be, I'll be there. I will be there. You know, just say the word. And give me a sec while I eat my lunch. Like I said, this is a cozy room. Oh, right. Sorry, come by like... No, but Andy's employed. Get Andy to do it. Andy's rich. Or we can rope Rue into it. Right? Or Rouge. I always don't know how to pronounce his name. But yeah. He's rich. We will rope him in first. What work does he do? I don't remember. I remember, I think Andy told me once about his job, but I, I have a bad memory now. Now that I'm getting older. Oh. Oh, help is here. Handyman, fix this thing. So, ah. Huh. So he's like Leo from uh, Charm. He's a handyman. Neat. I'm a handsome man. Well, he is. Hotspots inventory. Oh, checkpoints. Control panel. Hold on. Can you? Oh, you can save. Okay, good. Okay, let me go back to the game. I don't need to check that. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Okay. This connects to Fitz Randolph's office where Big Albert went in. Then how do you go in? Go in. I can't go in this way. Someone could see me like I saw Big Albert. Well, Big Albert already went in. Just go in. How do I go in? Do I need to... Knock on the door? Well, okay. I can go through the front gates. Wow, that's a lot of robots. Hi, oh, Miss. I thought you were going. Mr. Fitz Randolph. Now, come and sit beside me, Miss Allaire. Oh, dear. I never imagined you were such a party girl. Me? No. I'm still here because it's so pleasant here, don't you think? Uh, you don't need an excuse, Miss. My friend Murray's intern is always welcome. Oh. Actually, I was referring to your unusual style of dancing. Oh, I see. Have I offended you? Yes. No. Maybe. It's just that... You should give me contacts, game. Okay. I don't know what happened before this, but apparently... This dude is like Murphy's... friend. Why is it that Dan doesn't want to come in if this is his friend? It'd be easier to talk, right? If you're a friend? This guy could bring Murphy around like, Hey, this is my bud. Dan Murphy. Chat with him. But no. She's, he sends this girl to do it. Okay. How is it that you're sitting here by yourself? I love parties, but when you get to be my age... Since I'm the host, I can't go to bed. But at least here it's quiet. Oh, yeah. Parties. In our interview earlier, I forgot to ask you... I'm just gonna ask everything, so this is gonna be a long talk. Do you get along with the stars of your super productions? Well, I try to be a good employer, but it's not always easy. Fame goes to their heads. They do strange things. Strange things like what? Big Albert has... Yes? Yes what? Big Albert, what about him? Uh, is he feeling all right? Miss, if this keeps up, I will end up understanding why they call you Looney Liz. Yeah, why not just tell him he went into the office? Why do you have to keep it secret? Okay. How's business going? Support your answer. 
MKO is still the largest movie studio in the country. I'm feeling my oath. Let me feel my oath. We have made horror movies fashionable. And as long as that continues, nothing can touch us. Okay. That freaked me out a little bit, the oats, but hello. Thank you for that, Morticia. Yeah, Looney Lou. Well, I'm not completely sane, so yes. Playing this on trying to summon Andy. He should be awake now. He usually wakes up at this time. At least I think so. He often shows up around this time at on Cosmic Stream, so we'll see. Donations, foundations, charity events. Do you have any time left for yourself? <laughs> I'm just doing my part for the less fortunate, miss. Without the little people below, the, the cream, cream of society, society would, would sink, sink to, the, to bottom. the bottom. How did you know I was going to say that? I didn't. Disconcerting. Like you clearly knew he was going to say that. Why well, you repeated him? Getting up a little bit later, yeah. He sometimes like stays up, I think. And he wasn't there last night either, so he must have been busy. Cause usually he would pop in my stream, like you know, even for a little bit. But I guess he was busy. I've been doing stuff, right? Horror movies have allowed monsters to gain acceptance in society. Oh, they're monsters. Are okay. Now? Not completely accepted, miss. It's true that we aren't persecuted anymore and that we finally have the same rights as everybody else, but unfortunately, there are still many minds to change. So many people judge other people by their appearance. Thank you for your time. So this is a world where monsters are real and they're movie stars and they're trying to change people's minds is what I'm getting. Okay, it makes sense. What kind of monster is this guy? You do you know, Rabbit? Like, what what monster is this dude? I'm sorry, I am mixing my rice. But I'm curious. I can't tell. Is he a bird? It feels like a bird to me. Looks like some kind of aquatic thing. Oh, that could be it too. I thought these were feathers, but it could also be like scales. Okay. I'm nobody's intern. Oh, pardon me. It's it's just that thing. Oh, young and Murray is so, so you know. That makes I mean, sense. Uh, Murray. So Murray. Dan is a sports writer. How do you know him? I'll only say one thing: the Los Angeles freaks. Uh. I'm the owner. How nice. The baseball team, miss. I bought it years ago, and Murray comes to all the games. So I can tell Liz is not a sports person. But I won't say I'm a sports person. I don't really know much about baseball. The only baseball thing I know is an anime that I watched. It was a fantasy anime and the main character liked baseball. But he was uh, a demon king at the same time. Yeah, it was a fantastic anime. Both the why does everyone like Dan? I don't want to seem arrogant, but Murray is like me. We're both self-made men, and we both have kept our common touch. Dan's a jerk. You are very hard on him, and I think I know why. Do you find him attractive? But how dare you? Do you know that I once knocked over a refrigerator with my head? Do you think you're better than a refrigerator? And it was full at the time. 20, 12, 1, 4. <sighs> it really is very pleasant here, isn't it? Dan's not worth talking about so much. Liz, you need to calm yourself down. I know you can be a jerk, you know, Dan. But you don't need to be threatening some rich guys just because they say you might be attracted to, to Dan. Like, don't go crazy. Because if you offend this dude, he has the power and the money to ruin your freaking life. You know that? Just chill a little bit, okay? What about my style of dancing? Well, you're not accustomed to dancing in public. I've never danced in public, but I look quite good in the mirror. Then don't let anyone tell you otherwise. 
If I hadn't believed in myself when I was young, I wouldn't be where I am today. Are you insinuating that I'm not a good dancer? No, although society may not be prepared to see a woman move so many parts of her body so rapidly and with so much independence with respect to the rhythm. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm a feminist. Okay, I hate that. No offense to feminists, but anyone who's like, I'm a feminist. What's that got to do with your dancing? I mean, what's so bad about admitting you're a bad dancer? Heck, I don't know how to dance. I'm not a great dancer either. Nothing wrong with that, okay? Respect the bad dancers. Things are supposed to be random. Well, that's very random. Okay. I mean, we'll see. It's just the beginning of the game. I don't want to judge too fast, right? She could be, be great. Or she could grow throughout the game, right? Vegetable soup. I don't understand. Do you want some? What? Vegetable soup. Oh, what's in it? Disconcerting. Now, where were we? I'm going to take a walk. Uh, just one thing, miss. As you're probably already aware, I know some of the best doctors in the country, including psychiatrists. I have a cousin who's a veterinarian. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've observed that, that you sometimes say disconcerting things. Yes, I've done a lot of reading. Uh, yes, yes, of course. It's, um, take the vegetable soup, for example. Poor thing. Haven't you had dinner? Yes. Uh, no, no, I, I won't keep you any longer. Uh, yeah, I don't get her. I feel bad for the Cons, dude. I can't go into the hall that leads to Fitz Randolph's office while he's right there next to it. Pros, he gets along with Dan. This is the idea. Bad idea. Good. Bad. Jerk. Lunatic. Dan Murray, are you telling me that you do not intend to go into the mansion or to get Fitz Randolph away from the hall? In a nutshell. Well, okay then. Okay. Good. Good. But Liz Allaire was not a woman to give up easily, and she decided to convince Dan to get Fitz Randolph away from the hall. It'd be cool that her turns out to be integral to part of the game. It would be. We never know, right? No spoilers, but. If you, without spoiling the game, you tell me, Rabbit, that is that like important to the game or not? Or is, or is she just supposed to be weird throughout the whole thing and random? Because if that's the case, I might be completely lost throughout the game. That's just her personality, but explored more. Okay. <sighs> why? Why did they go this route with with her though? It's I'm confused, and I feel bad for the dude because he's he's really nice, right? Like uh, the other guy, Fitz Fitz, he was really nice, but she's so. A little aggressive, I think. I'm I'm okay with her quirks and being random, but I feel like she's she gets a bit too aggressive. I'm not into really aggressive characters. But m maybe maybe that would get better. We'll see. We'll see. Hey, yo, Dan. So how are you doing? Better than you, my dear. When the boss finds out who did all the interviews, you're going to be in hot water. He won't find out. Liz Allaire's no stool pigeon. Or is she? Sometimes I blurt out things without meaning to. You wouldn't dare. Try me. So, what exactly did you do wrong? I met you. You must have done something wrong for the boss to take you off your beloved sports section and put you on the society beat. Were you drunk on the job? I never drink, my dear. Never. I like her, but then making her into a dumb bum something is a little annoying, yeah. It's like the whole stereotypical throat, right? I mean, I get what they're trying to do. 
but like being the quirky like cute kind of like girl that's different but I don't know I feel like they they inserted some like random stuff that's like too random that it's just it's more like confusing than anything which isn't really helping the player like me who really has no, no idea what's going on in the game it would be better if like she's more like her randomness helps or adds on to uh, a game, like her bringing out something that may seem random to the other characters, but it's like, oh, this is a hint for the player, you need to do this, or something like that, you know? Because what's with vegetable soup? I'm still wondering about that, too. Maybe you're a lousy writer and the boss wants you to learn from me. Go on, stay in your own little world, my dear. Reality doesn't agree with you. You killed someone. Listen, honey, if I wanted to commit murder, you'd be the first to know. Actually, I could care less what you did. Fascinating. She says that and she asks all these questions about why he like got off like his his like actual like job and got transferred. And also, anti-freeze. Is is that a way to get around the whole uh, rating thing? I, I know Nancy Drew does that, right? Her interactive. In like danger by design, I'm, I'm I'm thinking that that's what is happening here because he can't be actually drinking antifreeze, is he? Careful with the antifreeze; it makes your complexion look all pasty. A jab to the left, it's pumpkin punch. A jab to the right, have you been drinking antifreeze? No way! I just rubbed a little on my face. It was cold. Why don't you help me get Fitz Randolph away from the hall? Because I bet half my salary on the fight tonight, and in a little while they'll be announcing the winner. That's no excuse. Come on, I only need you for five minutes. It's a shame that I can't help you. A real shame. Pumpkin punch. I've never had pumpkin punch, but I've heard like about like pumpkin juice and stuff in Harry Potter. Imagine something of the same thing. Maybe it's like fruit punch but pumpkin. You bet money on a fight. Tell me more. Jim Bad Blood Dixon against Ron Hellman Pearl Boy. Small potatoes. At least compared to next Friday. You missed the fight because they sent you here as punishment. Do you confirm that? That's not the worst. Mr. Boss, set it up so they won't let me into the stadiums, racetracks, and arenas. They turn the faucet off. Gosh, I can't miss Friday. Manny Hammerboy Brown against Rico the Italian Stallion Sandretti. I would do anything to be there. Let's change the subject. I hope you freeze. I can't mix drink with made with beer. Oh, okay. So he is drinking. It's neat. Okay. So I can't convince him to do it. I wonder what Dan's got in there. What's in the trunk, Dan? For you, the unknown. Not so, because I don't want to open it. Better for you, because I wasn't going to let you. Then everyone's happy. Extremely. Good! Good! Okay, Dan may be a jerk. But why do you feel more realistic than this girl? Because I still don't get it with her. And what am I supposed to do now? Let's see if I can remember. Yes. Wait, uh, is this um, supposed to be Dan? I believe that Liz had already been in another place next to the hall. What was it? Oh, thank you. Is that supposed to be old Dan? No. Do they have like what? Old Dan giving you the hints? Oh well, damn. Hey yo, Edgar. What are you doing at the window? Hey yo, weren't you going? Oh, sometimes I'm going and sometimes I'm coming. What are you doing at the window? Shall I take your jacket again? I'm gonna be coming and going. What are you doing at the window? 
rehearsing. Ah, you've been cast in a movie? Hmm, no, just rehearsing for the sake of rehearsing. Okay, damn, that sucks. With my looks, nobody can believe I'd be competent as a monster in front of the camera. But you are a monster. Hooker! Welcome. Okay, I need to allow that. Sorry, I kept clicking out of the game. Hello, Hooker. Welcome. Welcome. Playing the next big thing, which I'll say I'm still very lost. I'm like 30 minutes in the game. I'm still lost. And I just fe I just realized from all these like options that this lady has the tact of Nancy Drew and I have to keep allowing it. I, I need to add like hooker to the per permitted terms because otherwise, you know, like your your name is not going to be able to allow to be like uh typed on. Okay. But yeah, like she has the tact of Nancy Drew, which is none. None at all. Out of work actor. Coat check attendant. Obvious synergy. Like most people won't say that, right? It's kind of rude. They don't let you play monsters. No. Backs you up. I mean, I'm glad you you don't, don't get annoyed by it at least. At the auditions, I don't even get to act. They send me packing as soon as they lay eyes on me. Why are you not scary? I imagine a human seeing you may be frightened. How long have you been working for Fitz Randolph? About a month. He pays well, and he's nice. Yeah, Fitz was pretty nice. Fitz is pretty nice. What type of work are you doing right now? A little of everything. Maintenance, basically. I do whatever needs doing. And Fitz Randolph can't give you a recommendation? No, that would compromise his integrity. He gives his producers and directors complete artistic freedom and never interferes in things that's like casting. That's a great boss, at least. Was your appearance this original when you were a boy? Yes, from day one. I was born in a beautiful and absolutely ordinary place. With your typical farm animals. Why did I turn out peculiar? Your guess is as good as mine. Vims I'm guessing it has nature. something to do Nothing. with the factory at the back. What does this remind you of the Dr. Cowardly Dog? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I like books. Who does the one Hello, on the table free. <laughs> To me, for Welcome autographs. Welcome to the stream. I've gotten them from all the celebrities at the party. <sighs> Except for Hammer Boy Brown. Hammer Boy Brown? 20, 12, 1, 4. I don't understand. Why did you say that? To help myself relax. It works every time. Go on, rehearse. I'll watch you. I'm on it. So now he's into rehearsing. Poor thing. Yeah. Edgar's autograph book. I don't need any autographs. Okay. There's a gigantic pumpkin here. Okay. I guess that's it. It's Blue Harrelson, the star of Vulcan Flash and the Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, who disappeared without a... Wait a minute. Edgar! You are Vulcan Flash. <laughs> Hi, Vish. Seriously, you could pass for him. Now you have a job. Blue, strange eyes, dressed like this. I mean, you do look very similar. I'm very grateful to you, but no. Maybe it was generosity or stubbornness. Hello, Andy. Or just and now this is not a cosmic like stream. But we don't get any cosmos here. Night, she would convince Edgar of his future as Vulcan Flash. For that, her... Uh, Original mind her came original up with a mind. image that she decided to call the complete alien kit. 
which she would equip with everything required for this altruistic goal. The way the narrator says, original mine. <laughs> like he has to come up with a nice word to be able to say that. Well, I like the narrator. <laughs> I like the narrator. I need to find these stuff. I need to find a gun. I need to find the clothes and shoes. Okay. I'll go look around then. Can I? That's where the ball is, but it's dying down now. After the way they all laughed when I started dancing, I prefer not to go in. Uh, of course. It's one of Dr. Zelsius's revolutionary robots. Dr. Zelsius? Code check. Corridor. Miss Allaire, could you confirm that the reading room is being remodeled? Confirmed. Thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. Okay. It reminds me of Stacy, my first babysitter, but in armchair form. I don't understand that, but okay. I'm not going to take the painting that's sitting there. Nice painting. Okay. Large cans of white paint and little ones with blue pigment. I hope they're not going for an overly intense blue. It's not even your, like... Place. Just let them remove all the hollow one. They just... Can I grab the paint? The cans of pigment weigh less. I don't need more pigment or any paint. Okay. Did the workers leave this behind? I'll take it. If there was anything in the pocket, someone got here before me and took it. What a place to leave books! How little respect people have for culture! You did not see that the bookshelves were filled with paint? Okay, so I got the... vest. Which I can give to the other dude. I got the paint. I need pants. If I sit here and start to read a book, I won't be able to put it down until morning. Oh, so she likes reading. Okay. A lot of keys and beer and I regret it. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. You should have had done that, Andy. Oh yeah, rabbit have COVID. I'm so sorry to hear that. I mean, I had COVID last year. It was terrible. Hoping it's better for you. Did you lose your taste? I'm hoping you didn't lose your taste. Maybe not on its own, but in context. On second thought, the color blue is a fundamental characteristic of the Great Vulcan Flash. Agreed. He's not exactly the guy in the poster, but close enough. No, I won't give it to him until it's complete. Oh, it's not complete yet. So I have the vest. Of course. That's fine where it is. I need the gun and the boots, I think. I need to go and find them. Symptoms a mile so far. Hope it stays that way. Yeah, hopefully it stays that way for you. For me, when I had COVID, my cough was terrible. My blocked nose was terrible. But I had my taste, at least. I didn't lose my sense of taste, which is great, because that would suck so bad. It's just the blocked nose, mainly. And coughing my lungs out. So sleeping was, was hard. But other than that, I, I was able to... That was fine. I gotta eat stuff, so. That's where the ball is. After the. Okay. Oh. Reading room. 
I can't go while Fitzrandolph is sitting right there, or he'll suspect something. Wait, hmm. nice glasses. I need that glasses. Hmm, these could be Professor Flies. I'm just gonna take it. Yes, 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 yes! The effect is positively alien. If I'm not mistaken, my complete alien kit is ready for action. Oh, that's Can it. Can you confirm that for me, Miss Allaire? Confirmed. The alien kit is complete. Okay, yeah, she's definitely bizarre. Why are you talking to yourself like that? Finally, the moment has arrived for opening the refrigerator. There's my Edgar. You talking to me? I am going to put an end to your sad life. Exciting, huh? No, I don't understand. Oh, Edgar, don't you see the Vulcan flash poster? I am identical to him, the new Vulcan Flash. Next audition, I'm going straight to the top. Thank you for convincing me, Liz, Edgar continued. I'll make it in the movies as an alien. Yes, 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 this is all very well and good. But ask me about what's-his-name Brown's jacket. Oh, no, the jacket. Where is it? Put away. I was afraid you'd drip on it when you drank the pigment. You think of everything. And this is where you tell me I get to keep it. You're right. I suppose I that's suppose the least I can do for you, Liz. I can do for you, Liz. Mm? How, How did you did know you what know I was going to say? I was going to say. I had no idea. And now I'm telling you to go back to rehearsing, okay? I yeah, she's definitely really weird. Secretary. How does she keep doing that? I haven't even told him. You haven't told him what? This this girl is confusing me. This girl, oh my god. What do I need this jacket for? Could there be anything in the pockets? Ah, look, how convenient. Nice, okay, that's what I need it for. Alright. Walk faster. Okay, I can double click. Uh, I'll give you this if you go and convince Fitz, Fitz Dan, Randolph for me. Have you seen me eat paper? Can't say I've had the pleasure. Watch. I have here two pieces that say Rico the Italian Stallion Sandretti versus Manny Hammerboy Brown. Oh, give them to me. Fitz Randolph, away from the hall. Now. Hey, Willie. Murray, my friend. You doing good? Uh, better than you. When are we gonna get together, throw a few punches? I'd like to throw back a drink. I see you're empty. <laughs> what a guy. And that was how Liz convinced Dan to get Fitz Randolph away. Well, damn. That's it. Dan's. I can take it. It's half full. Well, he's been drinking so much, it's only half full. How strange. Being Dan's, I expected to find a trunk full of old, dirty, worthless junk. But apart from this empty oil can and a baseball bat, there's nothing. Not even the unknown. I mean, it's the unknown when you haven't opened it. It's like the... What's that? Uh, the cat. What's the nigger's cat? Is that what it's called? Now I can. Is he asleep? Good. There's a robot there. Does he not stop me? Well, I guess that, that security robot sucks. <laughs> Just let me walk right through. Closed. Life is like a crocodile. Wait a minute. 
Aren't the offices of Fitz Like Rita I said, he you should have like just connected? climbed the window. It would have been so much easier. I've been like, hey, you know, someone like even if they are. Oh, fuck. I can look around and stuff. Sparky, the Vulcanian sheep. Vulcan Flash's faithful pet. Why is there so many Vulcan Flash He's out like here? A light. It could be another office, but I have no idea. Well, then open it. Closed. Everything's closed. Okay. Um. How am I supposed to get in? Not sure he's interested. It could be another office, but I have no idea. What? 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 I don't remember. This game's making me very confused. If there was one thing that Liz had going for her, it was that she didn't discriminate. She talked to everyone. Okay, need to fix that robot. Oh, I'm not. He's out like a light. Hey yo, short stuff. Hey yo. Nice night, considering that at this time of year... You open office doors, right? Affirmative, considering that at this time of year, it usually cools... What's your name, sweetheart? Jimmy Love. It usually cools down, but autumn, as you know, comes late and all... Look, Jimmy, I'm not going to ask you to open Fitz Randolph's office. Only authorized subject, William A. Fitz Randolph. Late and all at once. But his secretary's yes. Okay, sweetheart? Only authorized subject, Beverly Torrance. Hair, blonde. Eyes, blue. Bust, 50. Waist, 24. Hips, 36. Negative identification. Access denied. Access denied? Liz said to herself, well, damn. we'll just see about that. Aren't you the charmer? Integrated elevator conversation chip. We'll have to start dressing more warmly. Informational topic unit. Doors. Open the first door for me. I have never opened it. It's not possible. Jammed. Maybe it's the humidity. A lot of humidity these last few winters. Okay. Who is Beverly Torrance? Beverly Torrance, secretary, authorization, door two. Although at this time of year, you know how it is. If you dress warmly, sunshine, and if not, you freeze to death. Okay. Informational topic unit closed. Okay. Are you sleepy? Power conservation mode. Low on oil. Isn't the autumn sun splendid? It is to be believed because it is absurd. Tertullian. Disconcerting. I don't understand. Even the robot is disconcerting. The I don't understand, but I believe. I don't understand, but I don't understand. Hey, yeah, time for bed, sweetheart. I have oil if you want some. It's empty. Of course it's empty. Great idea. Pumpkin punch in a can of more oil. Anyone care for some? You're gonna 
kill someone with it. Pumpkin punch, Jimmy? I'd like to, but Mr. Fitz Randolph will fire me if he sees me drinking. He only lets us drink oil so that we don't rust. He's in the ballroom. He won't see you. No, no, no. I don't dare. He could show up at any moment like a summer thunderstorm. Don't worry. I'll figure out something else. But you'll have your punch. I bet you can't guess what's inside this oil can. Affirmative. Suddenly, everything is like cloudy. The weather is just crazy. The door opened. Okay. Hey, yo. Nice. Open the second door for me. Uh, the authorized subject, Maverick Torrance. Her I I Cost 50. Price 24 pips. 36. Positive identification. Access allowed. Yeah, the robot is drunk. I didn't know robots can get drunk. Oh dear. Oh my god. What did I do? Robot 3000, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. And that was how, with the help of the pumpkin punch, Liz got Jimmy Love to open the door to the secretary's office. Thanks, sweetheart. Fitz Randolph Mansion, Halloween night. My exclusive interview with Big Albert. Hey, you, Albert. Liz Allaire of the Quill. Huh? Four questions. Twenty. Can you <laughs> tell me your motive for sneaking into the magnate Fitz Randolph's office? Twelve. What's that in your hand? One, are the rumors that say you're a kleptomaniac true, or did I just invent that to get under your skin a bit? Four, are you listening? Now, give this to the immaterial man. Hurry. Poor Liz. For once, fortune seemed within reach, only to elude her. On the other hand, if she had managed to get into Fitz Randolph's office, she would only have solved the mystery surrounding Big Albert after reading that note. Okay. I suppose there's nothing I need to really look at here. is in there with the notebook that Big Albert threw away after tearing out a sheet for Phil. Is it not gonna bite my hand? You're awfully crabby, Tubby. If I want the notebook, I'll have to think of something. Okay. Let me say first. Description. Introduce a description. Uh What description? It is taste and artwork. I thought it was artsy. Okay, what do I put? Big gallery. <laughs> okay. So I need to distract the dog. How do I distract the dog? Is there anything here? I 
haven't listened to the radio since my internship at JUNK in Los Angeles. You get sick of it. Pencils. What luck! Not even chewed on. Nice. Pencil. Yeah. She's not altogether ugly. He doesn't even have dog toys. Nice place to curl up with a book. It's Eva Morte, the dark lady. She's evil, perverse, and bad as they come. Why would he have a painting of this lady here if he's that evil and perverse? It's a mortician. <laughs> Morticia. Well, okay. Now that makes sense. And Andy. Kind of our Andy problem is half naked woman. Yeah. She's fat and heavy. No. There should be more paintings of me everywhere. It's strange that Fitz Randolph has such an obsolete model. After all, he bankrolls the inventions of Professor Fly, who's designed more advanced phonographs than this. There's a lot of half-naked women everywhere. Garden, dock, and on the other side of the lake, the studios. Okay. Fitz Randolph could have gotten this from one of his movies. I could move it, but I don't see what for. Okay. Can I give the pencil to the dog? Of course not. Okay. I get the bat? Nope, there's only a... I like it closed because then it's like it's not there. There's nothing on the car that I could get. From her experience with her family, Liz knew that many wealthy people tend to be absent-minded. Okay, thank you. Hey, there's something on it. Hey, there's something on it. A crank handle. A crank handle? What for? Jimmy Pumpkin Punch Love. <laughs> Robots can sleep and snore. Oh my god. That's just, that's so fascinating. Okay, I got the crank handle. But for what? Be something inside the house. Not 
here. Is it in the office or something? Okay, not here either. Office. I don't need it for anything. Okay. Oh. Wasn't this in the other office? Fitz Randolph is clever. One turn of the phonograph crank, and the table, part of the floor, and the wall turn and this appears. Listen to what I'm telling you, Liz. The rose-colored bed. William A. Well, Fitz damn. Randolph's dirty laundry. A Liz Allaire exclusive. Forget it. The gossip rags don't interest me. An ice bucket, tongs, and a can of caviar. It looks comfy. No way. Sleep here and you turn into Hannah Montana. I included Hannah Montana in this? Nice, okay. Caviar for the dog. Well, damn, the dog is living a good life. He's and the caviar. magic word for today is caviar. <sighs> but the real magic would be if something was written on it. Okay, that's not a dog. What the fuck is that thing? Who doesn't want to turn to Hamilton? No, right? Great life. Warehouse ASAP. Warehouse? When she finally found out what Big Albert's note said, Liz headed to Fitz Randolph's storeroom located behind the mansion. To the warehouse then. Hopefully, right, Big okay. Albert and Immaterial Man are still there. I'll turn on my tape recorder. <gasps> Easy now. Immaterial? The people who did this will be back. <gasps> Help me. Count me in. What do I do? I'm your girl. The important part is safe and sound now. We'll simply bury the rest. Oh, that's the evil person. At noon the following day, Dan was awakened by a ringing telephone. It was his boss. Liz and Dan hadn't shown up at the paper that day, and uh, he was, how can I put it, pretty angry. Of course. I won't tolerate another screw up. You hear me, Mr. Murray? You know, you don't understand it. If the story about last night's award ceremony doesn't make the Sunday edition, you and Mr. Mayor are going to be in hot water. Very, very hot water, he screamed down the phone. Reluctantly, Dan went back to Fitzrandolph's mansion. Edgar told him that Liz had been seen going into the storeroom, where she evidently was no longer. Finding out what had happened to his beloved colleague was not going to be that easy. Beloved, my foot. Los Angeles Stadium, Friday night. Manny Brown, Rico Sandretti. That's what counts. Well, okay. I don't think I'm Hannah Montana material, but I give it a shot. I mean, I try. I mean, I don't think I'm Hannah Montana material either. I don't have that voice. Take a shower, be lurking. Okay, enjoy your shower. But yeah, great place to take a break because I do need a break. This game is fascinating, not difficult, 
I mean, no, but it's, it's fascinating. So yeah, I'll, I'll take a break here and come right back and continue playing. How about that? So I'll see you guys soon.